Novak Djokovic versus Rafa Nadal is a third place playoff for the Six King Slam for 2024. And both guys have had different seasons to get to this GOAT battle. Nadal enters this tournament as number 153 in the world, the 12 wins, seven loss record after an injury plague season. And of course, now we know is his final season on tour. His best result was the final in Bostad where he took out a couple of seeded players along the way, eventually losing to Borges in that final in straight sets. But the way that Rafa had been playing before that, we didn't expect anything like that from him. So it was great to see Rafa making one more final in his final season. His best win was actually against Demonor in Madrid, the number 11 in the world at the time. He beats him in straight sets. And his worst loss actually came at the start of the year against Thompson, who is 55 in the world. So even though Rafa hasn't played that many matches, it's still been pretty good. And his form, of course, his last match being at the Paris Olympics, where he lost to Djokovic. So he has had pretty good form on the clay courts, which has been the majority of his season so far. Novak Djokovic entered the tournament as number four in the world with a 37 match win and nine win loss record for the year. His best result, of course, winning that gold medal at the Olympics, beating Alcaraz in the final 7-6, 7-6. And that's also his best win against Alcaraz at that tournament, who was number three in the world at the time. His worst loss was against Nardi, a lucky loser at Indian Wells, who was 123 at the time. His form, though, has been pretty good despite losing at the US Open early. Did just make the final of the Shanghai and of course did win that Olympic gold. So he has been playing really well lately compared to the first six months of the year. These guys have played 60 times before with Djokovic leading 31 to 29, including a match this year at the Olympics where Djokovic got the win in straight sets. In fact, that was Rafa's last match before playing this tournament. And it's his last official match unless he plays a singles match in the Davis Cup in a few weeks time. But Rafa's gonna win this one. And he's gonna be a little bit more aggressive than he was against Alcaraz. Alcaraz was hitting a little bit more slice backhands and maybe being a little bit careful against Rafa. Rafa can't expect Djokovic to do that. I'm sure Djokovic doesn't want to give Rafa any free points. So Rafa's going to have to be aggressive and he's going to have to be a lot better on serve as well because he did serve a few double faults in that match against Alcaraz. If Djokovic's going to win this one, he needs to clean up his game. He was hitting a lot of errors against Sinner, especially early in the match. Also, his shoulder. How's that going to look? He needs to recover pretty well because it wasn't looking good against Sinner and it did affect his serve, especially in that final set when it came down to the crunch. How lucky are we to get one more, potentially one more GOAT battle? It's an exhibition event, but it's going to feel just so nostalgic. But I have to go with Djokovic in straight sets. I reckon it might be a close straight sets. I reckon this might be the most fun exhibition match that we've watched so far because let's be real, most of the matches here have felt pretty serious. This one, I think, is going to be a proper exhibition. Both these guys are going to have fun. They know how historic this matchup has been over the time, but I think Djokovic gets to win in straights. But let me know down the comments below who's going to win this match.